We retrieved the nozzle, went back to the school, and held a meeting concerning the test launch at the clubhouse. I mean, the clubroom. Alright. So, yeah, we need to, you know, learn from our mistakes. But we still, yeah, we still retrieve something, right? Because earlier we went, we went to that tree and then we retrieved something from there. I forgot what it was. Total code was 83 meters. 車上には機体から分離したノズルが落ちていた。Oh yeah, we found the nozzle. Okay, so 8.3 meters. Yeah, that's a failure because I think what's the record? I can't remember, but it's it's in the kilometers here.、Yeah. I think five kilometers is like the tar our target, but 8.3 is like yeah, it's like yeah, that's a real failure. That's like not what that's like only a few, not even close. You no, know? it's like.、A, A far cry, an extremely far cry. Our target is five kilometers, and we only launch it three meters. I think we're going to need another test launch for sure, but we only have a week before the the competition itself. So yeah. Oh, and I just realized that uh, um, Kaho is wearing a. Uh, earphones. Yeah, wearing earphones.、Uh, I've never seen her, or maybe she has all along been wearing earphones, but I've never actually noticed it. <laughs> so is the nozzle that's the reason for the loss of control? The problem lies with the nozzle. So, ne, jinbaru seigyo. Shun ni mo wakari yasuku yu to nozzle o ugokashite kitai no shite seigyo kuru kara. We have to explain it to not just Shun, but also to me, who is a、uh, who knows nuts about rockets. Of course, nozzle が落ちれば完全に制御不能になるわ。Okay. 高度が低いのもノズルが落ちたぜ。Oh, because the nozzle fell. That's why the that's why the, that explains the very low altitude, right? Yeah. はい。That's how important the nozzle is. Maybe we didn't faster the boats enough. Could it be? I was the one who had fastened them at all. ちゃんとチェックしたし問題ないわ。それに結合部がちょっと壊れてるのよね。Yeah, so that's not the problem. 打ち上げの衝撃でノズルちゃんが壊れてしまったのでしょうか。つまりノズルの強度に欠陥があったってことね。Wait, mechanical flaw. So what? So that might point the direction to the company that manufactured this nozzle, which is our advisor's company, right? Oh shit! <laughs> We need to sue the company, no? no. No, but we need to ex examine why. You know, why did we get a defective product? You know. Oh no, the nozzle has a defect. I've made a lot of it. You're confident the nozzle was fine. But I don't think it was a defect. Yeah, that means it could boil down to the company, you know, defective product. No. Uh, so, but. Wait. Oh, it boils. It points to Onoka, no. 検査は正常。なてん。検査ミスかもしれないじゃない。あー、あの、あ、I think Kao is quite accurate when it comes to stuff like this. I mean, what do you mean? Maybe the analysis didn't detect it. No, 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 no. That's you can't assume it like that. <laughs> 検査ミスは少ない。Yeah, I see. 検査ミスだったらどうするのよ。What do you mean the analysis is flawed? What are you talking about? <laughs> I said what? Why you? Why you? Putting the blame on machine or on analysis, we should be looking at it from our own perspective. You know, see what went wrong with it. What wrong have we done? No, no. What do you mean? What with the analysis? So, what are you talking about? What? 結合部の破損具合はノズルが抜けるほどには見えない。Okay. モーターケースちゃんの方が壊れてしまったのかもしれませんし、CFRP の方が頑丈なのに。Even though the 
Maybe the bottle h e s i n g from. I have no idea, seriously. <laughs> ね、If it's me. Oh, hey, hey. Arisa, calm down. You, you don't want to, like, yeah, put the blame on others now. No, don't point, point fingers at others, you know? Yeah, please don't point fingers. Okay? This, now it's not the time to be pointing fingers. Now it's the time to, you know, work together and examine the problem. Oh, then the next thing Arisa say, I, I told you the analysis might be flawed. No, 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 don't call her now. We shouldn't be pointing fingers. Don't point fingers. Come on. Otoya, please calm them down. Design failure. そもそも打ち上げに耐えられない設計ってこと Calm down. Shh. 例えば例えばの話なんてしてないでしょ全部疑う当たり前でしょしらみつぶしに原因探さないでどうするのよ Okay, she said that. Yeah, we have to go over every little detail, you know. Every little detail, you know. If we don't, then, then what? Yeah, you know. Yeah, we definitely need to narrow it down because we don't have time to examine every single de little detail. And why are you worried about that? You know, we don't have time. <laughs> you know, time is a factor here. Yeah, it's also unrealistic because if we go, go through everything, then we, then, you know, we also don't have time for that. <laughs> yes, yes, I've definitely seen it before. They've been. They're quarreling again. <laughs> yes, second time. Yes, Sotoya, so say something cool. Say something funny to liven up the spirits. The mood. <laughs> See if I could do it on command. So, I've been thinking we can't really figure it out because we only have the nozzle, right? Yeah. Otoya now it seems like he's, he's now the, he's now the peacemaker, you know? Yeah, he, he has taken up the role of a peacemaker. <laughs> yeah, I remember he, he acted as the peacemaker once before over here, yeah? So now he's gonna act as the peacemaker again. Hey, but the fact that we have a nozzle is, is, is crucial, though. That means we can still, can still examine stuff and all because we, we have the nozzle and the nozzle is the problem. So we can actually examine the nozzle right now. We can just, yeah, you know. But not every single detail, of course. Not every little detail of it. Uh, oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's in the sea. It、yeah, takes some time to, you know, call the scavenger or what the, yeah, the ship, the, the recovery team to, to recover the, the wreckage. Why? Akship ka umi ni ochita roketo kaishu shite kudere no wa, taikai shu ryo go da mono. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that means it takes more than a week to get the, to recover the rest of the rocket. Max five までに他にも roketo ga ochiru da ro kara. Oh. So it's all about convenience. You're not allowed to get them yourself. Yeah, how do we do it though? <laughs> We've talked about this before. The area around the space center is shallow. <laughs> right. I remember you mentioning the sea devil before, Natsu. Oh, no, it wasn't Natsu who mentioned it. It was Otoya who mentioned it because Otoya mentioned. Yeah, he, he talked about, he talked before about that sea devil story, right? Yeah, the legendary sea devil. Don't worry, I'm a fisherman. Okay, I know what to do. I can dive deep down. <laughs> What's deep? That area is like 10 or 20 meters deep at most. Yeah, 10 or 20 meters is nothing to Otoya, okay? It's like a swimming pool. <laughs> well, actually, it's. 
much deeper. Uh, it's deeper than a swimming pool. Yeah, but yeah, it's like actually it's like about about uh maybe like <laughs> yeah maybe like five to ten times yeah deeper than a swimming pool. Yeah, it's nothing to auto. Yeah. Do <laughs> so. Yes. So what do we do? Well, isn't it obvious? Kimateru jar. Someone just has to dive into it, wrap some ropes around, and drag it to land. And you're the one who's going to do it, Otoya. Well, uh, because all these girls cannot do it. <laughs> you're the only one who can do it, Otoya. <laughs> of course he can. He's a fisherman. No, he's a fisherman. No. Do you know what my free diving record is? Uh, definitely is very low. Let me let me guess. No, not hundred meters. I don't think hundred meters is humanly possible. <laughs> no, no, not hundred meters. Uh, but you say that ten to twenty meters is nothing to to yeah, right? So I'm guessing fifty meters. What? Wait, what? Two hundred forty meters? Seriously, he can dive that that low? <laughs> That's like more than twice. The size of a hundred meter track. Oh shit! Well, if you if you measure in in depth instead of the distance. Wow, that's insane, Otoya. Yeah. Sasuga fisherman. <laughs> well, yeah, he's an experienced fisherman. He learned it from his dad, you know. I would die like everyone else if I dive that deep. Okay. <laughs> so obviously not. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I was like, what, what the, I'm like thinking, I think 100 meters is already humanly impossible. You know, humanly impossible, 100 meters. So I think the re his record is probably 50 meters. Yeah, 50 meters. Oh, but that was the world record. <laughs> but Otoya is not the world record holder. <laughs> 31 meters. Well, that's still not too bad. I mean, yeah, I was guessing 50 meters, but 31 meters is still not too bad. So? Mm -hmm. Mama, eh? Hey, why are you acting cocky now, Arisa? Otoya is doing you a favor, and then you're, you're acting you're, you're acting like, huh, So what? Huh, it's not so bad. Huh, why, why are you <laughs> what, what the hell's wrong with you, Arisa? 31 meters is still not too bad, though. You, why don't you try it? I don't think you can, I don't think you can even dive 31 meters. And most like maybe like 3 meters or so. <laughs> of course, that was the place where you all gas. Oh yeah yeah, right? Oh, <laughs> Kaho is reacting. Oh, 31? <laughs> well okay, I'm a small fish. That that's still that's still not so bad. No, it's fine, you don't have to go that far for me. Yes, 31 meters is no big deal. We made plans to retrieve the rocket for the rest of the day. Alright, so evening. It was a day of two firsts. Yeah, I'm diving in first. The first time I'm diving in a while. My first launch and my first launch failure. Oh, oh right, okay, <laughs> that. On the way home, I felt, more strongly than anything, a sense of missing out. I hadn't been useful in any way. No, you're not being useful. You know? you're, you're going to dive it into the water to retrieve the rocket. You know, the rest of the rocket. I had only watched the launch fail, unable to do a thing to help. I had looked up to a sky I couldn't reach. A sky possibly far removed from me. But still, for some reason, I felt compelled to keep looking up at it. You have, a, you have an ambition, right? Fly to the sky. Or rather, launch a rocket to the sky. Oh, so we retrieve it. Okay. I was thinking maybe we will get to see the retrieving process, but okay. So now we are at Showa Day. Oh. Right, I thought they were going to retrieve it yesterday evening, but no, they're going to retrieve it today. <laughs> okay. They're going to retrieve it today on Showa Day, okay. Arisa spread out a sea map of the area around the Northern Space Center. We may drew a mark on the map with red pen. What can you know for sure? Uh, please tell me what is telemetry. 
。何が注意ロケットの飛行状況、搭載機器の状態を地上に電波で知らせる装置。Flight information and system status to the ground, okay. Okay, so you get the data even if it ends up crashing somewhere. So, that means it fell over there. We compared the map with the ocean in front of us and pointed at the location. Because so? Yeah, no problem. I stood on the shore and put on swim fins, masks, and snorkel. I also wore a free diving sweatsuit. On top of that, I put on work gloves to handle the wire rope needed to raise the rocket, ro、uh, rocket body. Right! If only we get to see Otoya in his diving, diving suit. Okay, itekimas. The water around Amanoshima was already warm and the weather offered a nice swim. I swam to the location of the rocket with the swim pins. I looked down towards the seafloor, but it was too deep. I couldn't see the rocket. I had to dive and take a look. I took a deep breath. Okay, uh. We're, 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 are we wearing a snorkel? I think we're wearing a snorkel, right? We're not wearing like the scuba tank, the professional diving equipment, equipment, right? Yeah, so. I brought my upper body down into the water and pointed my hands down at the sea floor, right? I straightened up my body and raised my legs. My entire body was pointing at the sea floor at that point, okay? Only my legs were sticking out above the surface, so I had to paddle with my hands. So he's basically upside down right now. Yeah.、Uh, with his head first towards the sea floor. My body was propelled downward immediately. I swallowed my own saliva regularly to blow out my ears and keep the rising water pressure from damaging them as I dove deeper. So he's basically diving. Wait, let me just check again. Uh. Uh, he said you wear something, right?、Uh, wait, hold on.、Uh, yeah, diving wetsuit, swim fins, mask, and snorkel. Yeah, so, so he's basically wearing the, all the snorkeling equipment. After a while, finally, the floor appeared before my eyes. I looked around my location. I had a light attached to my mask and it was casting a cone in the direction I was looking. The ground was mostly sand interspersed by some rocks and the forest. I think to conceal a rocket. And I couldn't see the rocket. I slowly swam around looking down at the sea floor. I saw nothing. Perhaps the current had carried it away.、Hmm. I was about to return to the surface for air when suddenly the light reflected off something. Oh. I stared in that direction suspiciously. There it was. The Echo Type 1. I guess we're going to have a lot of types, right? We're going to have Type 2, Type 3, E Type 10, I don't know. I bought the reef surfacing and swam down to the floor. I think it's a fisherman, I think he also has really good、uh, good lungs, yeah, so he can really hold his breath for very long. Motoka has showed me how to swiftly tie the wire rope to the rocket. I checked the rope once before resurfacing. Okay, to, to catch some air first. Yeah, get some air first. I decided to call out to me immediately when she had seen my head above the water. You know, if only I can hear the shh, you know, like the water sound. Why is there no water sound? You know, more realism. <laughs> We're good. I gave them a go ahead sign with my hands. Thumbs up. The wire rope led all the way back to Arisa and another set the launch pad. All that was left was pulling the rocket up. Alright, we're now in the girl's perspective, so. Do we get to see his portrait? I hope so. <laughs> merman? Don't call me a merman. <laughs> four times. He f o u g h four times. With every tuck of the wire rope, the rocket moved a little on the sea floor. I, dove, uh, I dove down again and followed the wire rope to make sure Byako Taiwan hadn't caught, gotten caught on anything. So we don't get to see、uh, Otoya's portrait yet again. It was easy, but we had managed to get Byako Taiwan into the shallower areas near the coast. You're close! One more tuck! Say no! Say no! Yeah, all five! Say no! 
the one massive part of the wire loop, you have to type on finally tiered above the surface. Oh, so we managed to pull it to the surface. Nice. Okay. What? What? Photoka has gone up to Pyaku type and stopped the surprise. Is there something wrong? What's wrong? Dosta? Dosta no, yeah. That was when I noticed something I hadn't been able to see underwater. So it's not the nozzle that's the problem. But half the joint along the motor casing was blown clean open. Wait, does that mean it's Otoya's fault? He didn't manage to screw the joint. That he didn't manage to screw the screws properly after all. Hokago. We went to the Northern Space Center again, put Yako Type 1 onto the carrier, and drove it to the club room. Oh shit, it's already night time. So we took the like the the whole afternoon to to carry the, the rocket here. I I mean it's hard work carrying a rocket from one place to another, yeah. I get it. It's night time now. The joy with the nozzle that means is it's have a bad feeling it's actually Otoya's fault. But 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 Arisa said that Arisa said that Otoya managed to screw the screws properly, right? So but then the problem still lies at the joint with the nozzle and the motor casing. It means the screws, right? Nobody said anything. We all agreed, apparently. Oh, okay, okay. So it's the motor casing that's the problem. I don't think that's the right translation to put it. Now the fun begins. What's fun about this? <laughs> Tell me what's actually fun about this. You know the way she, if you say the way she, you say it like that sounds kind of sarcastic, you know. <laughs> Either propeller or motor casing effect. effect. But actually, what Arisa said in Japanese is like this. Yeah, wait. Basically, she said now. Now comes the question. That's it. Yeah, now comes the question, why did the motor casing fail? I don't know why the, the translator put it as now the fun begins. It makes her sound sarcastic. <laughs> like, what's fun about this? You know? so, what do you think? or, or uh, motor casing? I think most likely the propeller. Because I don't think the, there's anything wrong with the motor casing. Yeah. The hair crack. The hair crack. So, so Natsu was actually right about the hair crack. I mean, Natsu had mentioned about the hair crack before, right? I mean, she she did say that there is a hair crack in the propeller, but but at that time the hair crack wasn't like so significant. But then they decided to ignore it because it's like the hair crack was like. Nothing much. Then the second time they look at the propeller again, then Natsu was like crying, saying that the hair crack had gotten larger. But then they still decided that, you know, it's not that significant enough. Arisa said, said so. She said, ah, well, the hair crack may have been slightly larger, but still, still, it's still okay, fine. And that's why when it comes to things like this, we should definitely trust the other person. We should have trusted Natsu. You know, when Natsu cried that the hair crack had gotten larger, you shouldn't have used the propeller. No, we should have swapped for another one. Yeah. But you did say that before that the hair crack got larger the second time you examined it. So I think by the time of the test launch, the hair crack had probably like expanded beyond the tolerance margin, you know. Maybe, but I think it's more like the 
thank God, larger and larger. I don't think so, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, the car will say that no problems with the motor casing. Yeah, listen to Kaho, she's the expert. What does that mean? Let me just read again the thermal, yeah, I mean, the thermal insulation will cool it, you know? Yeah, I mean, the thermal insulation will cool it, you know? Oh, okay. Ablation cooling. But the ablation Frictional heat. I, I'm guessing this is based because you know when there's friction, there's heat. Yeah, so frictional heat. Hey guys, please listen to the expert. Kaho knows a lot of things. Mm, okay. Well, yeah, it's possible, but not in this scenario. I, I, I think. Suishinzai's可能性の方が高い。でもでも、X線画像の部屋クラックの場所からして爆発するんでしたら、天下時点だと思うんです。But Natsu, have you forgotten that you cried when you said that the hair crack had like gotten larger? Remember? リフトオフが確認できましたから、ヘアクラックが原因の場合とは違いませんか？Natsu is like trying to defend herself now, but she's the one who examined the propeller and all. それはそう. Let me just check in. Hmm. Okay. So Kaho agrees there. ヘアクラックが微妙な大きさだったら、ちっちゃい爆発が起きちゃうとか？ I mean, I mean, at least they're like discussing things, learning things, you know. Trying to pinpoint the mistake. Lift off go. Just a little bit later, the engine will be broken. Is that what happens? Is that what happens? Ah, wait. Uh, I think a small explosion if it's just the right size. Yeah, I mean, like like I said, the the hatchback got larger and larger, so it it got large enough to cause the explosion. So you know. Yeah. Should we actually try it? <laughs> but it's very dangerous. I mean, we need to know if it's true. You know, experiments. That's why. That's why you know science. You know, if we want to know, learn something, we need to do experiments. You know. Yeah. Yes. This is the big. This is the big thing. Yeah, the bigger hair crack, you know. Hi. Demo, sakihodo mo imashita ga kyoyou hai nai nan desu. Yes, but have you ever considered the possibility that, I mean, the second time you examine it, the crack got larger. So, so you know, there's a chance that as as time passed, you know, the 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 crack got even larger, you know, they that it went beyond the tolerance margin, you know. I was wondering something. Oh, for some reason it seemed that they were debating which of the two was at fault. But the hacker is definitely the thing at fault. Okay, I'm now. Very certain that it's the hack. So I asked, "Hey, can we just improve both?" Oh, <laughs> well, we don't know which of the two is the exact problem. Why not just improve both? Problem solved. <laughs> you have a wow, Otoya. I didn't think of that. You have 
that that's a great idea. But if do we have time to do both? I hope we have <laughs> to improve both. I mean, it's better than just wasting time trying to determine which of these two is the problem. But at least we now know that either one of these two is the problem. Though I'm pretty certain it's the hack crap. But well, since we have already narrowed it down to this one of the, to these two problems, we can just improve both. If we have the time. I think we have. So basically you're saying we don't well, the rockets got to fly somehow. Arisa was silent for a moment. You were waiting for an answer. Yeah. Okay, so we're going down with improving both. I mean, better than doing nothing and just arguing here, you know? クラックの許容サイズを燃焼試験の時のものを最大に変更。オッケー。期待は強度と耐熱性を増やす方向で設計から見直してくれる。わかった。次の打ち上げテストはちょっとスケジュールが厳しいけど、5月1日にするわ。
The time before filled me and laid heavy over the control room. Uneasiness outweighed our hopes. I could hear my heart beating. Okay. We had improved Type 2 in, type, uh, in light of the two deficits we thought we had found in Type 1. We had looked at the finished rocket and thought that this time, surely, it would launch correctly. Oh yeah, so just, if you guys just notice, now we have the Type 2, so it's like Biako. I think this is a flower symbol? Yeah, Biako Flower 2. <laughs> so yeah, Type 2, and then the same sim same logo. Yeah, so, okay, right. But now that the launch was imminent, dog reared its ugly head. Well, we can't turn back now. Had we really overlooked nothing? Had we rushed to a wrong conclusion? We, we can't go back. We can't turn back now, okay? We just have to launch it. It's now or never. Arisa, Bibi, Motoka, Natsu. And I too, so stay what? Watashida, uh, Oreda. We were all praying that what we had done was solution. And we correct as we looked at Piako Type 2. That uneasiness was probably never going to disappear until a launch was successful. The launch approached. Alright. Counting down from 30 seconds. 19 seconds now. Right, here we go. <laughs> well, let's see how far it flew. It flew, yes, it flew. Unlike Type 1, which I crashed into the ocean. Yako Type 2 flew straight up into the sky. Let's see if we can reach the record at least of this of the competition. <gasps> but yes, we did it. Now let's see how high it goes. Our expression softened and someone started clapping. Arisa? Only Arisa still looked tense and stone face. Oh, everyone is fit. Someone started clapping, you mean all of us except Arisa? Yeah, our target is 50 kilometers. So our first launch was like. was like. not even. Not, <laughs> like, it was uh, nothing. It was completely nothing, you know. Like 8 meters. We only launched 8 meters in the first, first test launch, and we need to pass 50 kilometers. Yeah, that's the thing. 50 freaking kilometers! <laughs> so, oh man. Yeah, we just need to pray now. Alright, so I was focused on the telemetry data. Biako Type 2 was still ascending correctly. Uh, what? Shit, another problem. Something big happened in the telemetry data. Biako 2 号機、姿勢制御に異常ありです。陽角誤差7、ピッチ角誤差20、制御装置は正常稼働。Shit. Your error and the pitch error. Error is rapidly increasing. Shit. What was happening? Yako Type 2 was changing its trajectory towards level flight. Oh shit. We're not reaching 50 km at this rate. Oh. We have manual override. Nice. Yoko. Okay, complete. Yeah, she's the last part she said was Yeah, complete. Uh or send command sending command complete basically. Yeah, so Shin Shuryo sending command complete. And then uh, don't know why the translator didn't translate that, but yeah. Let's see what is NMTBC first. Movable nozzle trust vector control. Okay. Alright. She even with manual control, the error is still increasing. Command Sai Soshin. Yoka, MNTVC, Shudo Sego, Command Sai Soshin, Ni, Ich, Zero, Soshin Shurio. Soshin Shurio, yeah, means sending command complete. Tame desa, Yoko Nigoki, Shisekai Fukushimase, Shokero, Hokiko Hazinemas. 
So the the rocket is not responding to uh, to manual control. <laughs> Arisa was biting her lip and staring at the telemetry data. Then she sighed. Huh? Wait, what? Wait, why do you want to send a self destruct command? Why? What? Yeah, don't just give up hope like that until it's actually going down. Well, I mean, I mean, okay, I, I, I get you, like, if it actually starts crashing down, then by the time we, we send the self-destruct command while it's crashing down, I guess, uh, I guess that would be a problem, right? That would be a huge problem, right? <laughs> yeah, that you, it, it will be too late by then, right? Probably. Yeah, so, okay. Otoya, oh, yeah. actually, if I, I think Otoya will, will, will do what I think he'll do. Say no, don't send the self destruct command first. Have faith, have faith, have faith in God. <laughs> no, don't. Have faith in God. Have faith in me. Have faith in God. <laughs> have faith in miracles. Okay. Oh, it's accepting the self destruct signal. It's been destroyed. Well, we don't get to hear the sound, right? The rocket explosion. <laughs> so basically, it just explodes in mid air. Self when it self destructs. Because I've never seen a rocket self dis. I mean, well, I've never actually seen it live, obviously. So basically, the rocket just goes boom, right? But I guess it's another failure. How many we just do we still have time for test logic? I mean today's really like Wednesday. And the 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 competition is like next Monday, right? May 9 or something? Yeah. And so our second test launch also ended in failure. But it's a lot better than the first test launch, that's for sure. Now we need to go back and examine what's the problem again. Yeah, examine what's the problem again. There were only five days left until max five. Okay, so five days. So today is Wednesday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, Monday. Yeah, next Monday basically. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember the condition. Uh, is on is on Monday. So yeah, only five days left. Alright. Well, nobody said that making rockets is easy. We can, we definitely can see from, from their, you know, from their work, from the, from this scenes and all, that it is definitely not easy making a rocket. Okay, a rocket is a lot, a lot, a lot of hard work. テレメトリーデータを見る限り制御装置ジャイロに異常はなしコントローラーにジャイロ、オッケー。ノズル角度を変更する指令コマンドを送信するもコマンドを受け付けず指令は回復できなかったわ。So the problem probably lies to in that part like why did the rocket respond to manual control right? Like is there some defect in there or something? 指令コマンドを再送信しても結果は同じ。I mean, the rocket did receive the self destruct command. Fourteen kilometers, still quite some ways to go. Yeah, the, the our target is fifty kilometers, but we need reach fourteen. I like, we still need. We still need, we still need like another thirty six kilometers. Shit. <laughs> but at least this second launch is a lot better than the first one. This <laughs> one was only what eight meters. I have a feeling it might be the the F wave, you know, that 
it was made stronger that but that might have been a mistake maybe 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 because it made the air flavor a bit too heavy like what i would say before yeah gyro well, okay, so it's more of this, one of these three, well, Arisa said gyro and processor are working, right? So maybe it's the attitude control equipment, yeah, that's the problem. Oh, now you're, now you're, <laughs> Kao, calm down. <laughs> I mean, because the previous, previous meeting, uh, Arisa, because Kao said, oh, this is a problem, and Arisa said, I mean, like, there, there are no problems with analysis. And then Arisa said that, well, the analysis, the analysis, there might be some problem with the analysis, but Kao said, no, everything is perfect. <laughs> then, then they argue again. Then they argue again. Like I said, there might be something wrong with the analysis. Now Kaho is shooting, shooting back at <laughs> Arisa. It's like, uh, Arisa said, well, you didn't report any errors, but well, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> oh my god, calm down. ドクターする方法は指定制御の履歴から推定。まあ、エティチュードコントロール。それすぐにわかる。もう少し確認してみて。他に考えられるのは。稼働ノズルが動かなかった。The well, that was during the firing test, but why didn't it, didn't it work now? The launch damaged it? ノズル本体はそれともノズル制御してる伝送部品が伝送部品はSPだから壊れるならこの彼の作ったノズルだと思う。you know, I was just thinking, you know, it's really cool that the students have the freedom to launch launch a rocket whenever they want. <laughs> no, I think, I'm pretty sure they did make some free, free bookings before they can actually just simply launch a rocket in the space center. They need to do some paperwork first, first and all, right? They can't, they can't just simply launch a rocket as and when they like, right? Because from the from the current progress of the of this story, it, it seems as if they can just launch, the students can just launch a rocket anytime they want. <laughs> like, oh, just, just really launch the, the, the rocket anytime they want. But what about the other teams? Don't the other teams have, or maybe they, they do have, maybe they have already launched their rockets or something, or maybe they've scheduled for other days. But I'm pretty sure it comes with, comes with free bookings and all. Like, they need to make bookings in advance. And then also to do some paperwork and all because this is serious business, though. Launching a rocket is serious business. Bro. It's not just it's not it's not a child's play, you know. <laughs> you know this thing. But well, anyway, the SPs were professionally made first. I stand up door. There might be. I think in real life, I think there is a rocket school. Yeah, there has to be a rocket school in. In real life, but is it like on high school level? Maybe I don't know. That's the thing. Is there a rocket school for high school students? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, university probably there is like those who are aspiring to be to work in space, work in you know, rocket making, yeah, work for space, you know, oh, then yeah, then probably yeah, there is a module for that, yes. Oh, well, high school students. But well, anyway. Moving part. That will lead to a loss of attitude control. So the problem lies with the motor casing again. That's exactly when Byako type to lost attitude control, right? Okay, all working properly. Okay, all working properly. 
The instruments measuring the law, nozzle angle lost power. それは確か十八秒時点でピッチ姿勢、陽姿勢に大きな誤差が発生。Like what Natsu said, the pitch and the yaw angles. 制御装置は誤差修正のため、ノズル駆動系に制御指令を送った。その後、姿勢誤差はピッチ姿勢、陽姿勢ともにわずかも回復していない。え。ノズル角を計測する装置が電源弾になり、ノズルが駆動しなかった証拠。センサーが電源弾になる原因は？故障か断線。Failure or damaged wiring。そう。つまり、18秒時点で約二号機の姿勢を大きく崩す原因が発生。Pretty sure it's supposed to be altitude and not attitude, right? <laughs> it's altitude, right? Yeah, not attitude. I don't think height has anything to do with attitude. Yeah, I think it's altitude. Yeah, altitude. It can be anything else. 可能性はゼロじゃないけど、全く同じタイミングで別々のトラブルが起きるなんて考えにくいわ。原因は一つって考えた方が自然ね。Share cause, so there's an underlying cause behind this. So what about that thing that Natsu was talking about? How how the pressure in the motor casing drop? So yeah, the problem lies with the motor casing again. そうね。Natsu 十八秒時点で温度上昇はなかった。ノズルちゃんの周辺がかなり高い値です。Okay, there we go。それってノズルが耐えられないぐらい？いいえ、モーターケースちゃんよりノズルちゃんは暑さに強いですから、oh. へっちゃらです。そう。じゃあロケットモーターの内圧が減る原因って何がある？ロケットモーターちゃんに穴が開くとガクンって減ります。ホイドロケットモーター、あ。そういえば一回目の時も穴開いた。ジーで電話で言ってたわ。Earlier。でも考えにくいわ。推進材にクラックはなかったし、oh, モーターケースの強度も耐熱性も必要以上に上げたのよ。見てください。So maybe the problem actually doesn't lie in the crack in the propeller or the motor casing, you know. It's somewhere else, somewhere else in the motor casing. 他に原因は考えられない。穴が広がっても内圧は下がります。Pressure drops if the hole gets bigger, okay? 穴が広がる。Yeah, what hole? ノズルスロート。Also short. What's that? ノズルちゃんの細い穴の部分です。燃焼ガスが通るところで、すごく暑さに強いんです。もしかしてノズルスロート材が剥がれちゃった？一緒に見る？ Well, yeah, there. Well, da. Do we actually need explanation for this? <laughs> well, at least for the weather, nozzle is is arrows, okay? But what what material? <laughs> That's the thing. What material? So, 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 消損するってことよね。バナ、おお、バナ、とベジビ、ライベジスティングウィッシュの。アリサちゃん大正解です。スロート消損後、燃焼ガスがノズル側面に漏れる。だ、で、ノズ。燃焼ガスの噴出角度がおかしくなって、ビアコ2号機の姿勢が崩れるわね。ついでにノズル周辺にあった配線も消損してセンサーが電源弾ノズル稼働不可のため制御不能に陥った
Sensors lost power and the nozzle became unmovable. That's how the rocket launch lost control. アンリライバルフォーグラフイトエクスレイのアルトラサウンドアナリシスそうはどうい、もしウィユース。ななの。内部欠陥の発見は困難。困難。デビカルハ。フォーグラフイト。じゃあ、決まりね。そうだ、グ